Have you ever heard of divine discontent? I heard this statement last week and I was, I never heard it before. What does divine discontent mean? Let me tell you what divine discontent means. It means a, it is an uncomfortable gap between what we are in comparison to what we have the power to become. What we are compared to what we have the power to become. And I realize, man, I have a ton of divine discontent. And I want you to have divine discontent too. Because I think the idea is, you know, I had this the last Friday, we talked about where you were in the middle of the year. Now, it's crazy because I believe in gratitude. I have a, an immense sense of gratitude. And I'm looking at my first half of the year and I'm like, oh my God, I am killing it. Now I missed on the London Marathon, but I felt like I was failing forward and London was a detour in the right direction. And uh, my business is booming. My book, my book is pre-released and it's coming out. And I'm like, I look around, and I have a ton of gratitude. So how can I have gratitude and divine discontent? Well, I think I have gratitude because of the divine discontent. It's this idea of when things are going really, really well, that we get comfortable. It's that we get uh, lazy, that we get scared, that we take our foot off the gas. And for me, I always want to have this idea, and I didn't understand what this meant, but I know that I'm capable of more. And so my biggest fear is settling for less. And this is divine discontent. And so to me, I, I was sitting there and I'm like, all right, I have this idea of divine discontent. How can I use this, continue to use this to motivate to me, to push me, to learn more, to be more, to, to try new things, to lean into coaching, to lean into education. And so I really started thinking about this. I started Googling. I was going down. I, man, how do I get to where I'm capable of getting compared to where I am? And so here's what I came up with. So listen to what this author said. Listen to what this author said. Don't bow your head. Don't know your place. Don't sit back. Don't give in. Don't give up. Don't win silvers. Don't be so easily happy with yourself. Don't be spineless. Don't be gutless. Don't go gentle into that good night. And don't ever, ever allow a single piece of rubbish out of your mouth. Holy heck. Like, what? What? I have this on like autoplay every day over the last two weeks in my in my, in my my mind. It's like over and over and over again, and this is that I refuse. I refuse to settle. You may be having a great first half of the year, and we talked about that. That's awesome. But have a semblance of divine discontent. Be grateful because the gratitude will propel you to know that you're capable of even more. Put your foot on the gas and have this idea of divine discontent, knowing that you can always get somewhere further. This is what I want you to do. I want you to raise your sights. I want you to raise your sights and believe that you can compete with the immortals. Go after the big fish. Go after the tip of the spear. Become the tip of the spear, but you get there by never accepting where you are. You are capable of it. You are worthy of it. Let's go crush the second half of the year. Divine discontent.